relatively common concerns that a lot of clinicians have about pharmacogenetics and how that could incorporate into their practice. First of all is cost. Many people perceive genetic testing as expensive, and historically that's been true, but that's changing a lot. And many of these tests uh, that we worried about, costs that may go on to patients, are really becoming very inexpensive and, and covered by insurance. The second thing is understanding what to do with the information. And whenever we prescribe medications uh, and medications that we commonly prescribe, we all work very hard to understand uh, great detail about the pharmacokinetics and how to use those medications and side effects. Uh, fortunately, at Mayo Clinic, you can also request a pharmacogenetics consult. As, um, as the cost of pharmacogenetic testing goes down, the kinds of information and the granularity of information that we get is getting richer. You know, I think we've, we've gone from single gene testing to panel gene testing to even more extensive genomics that come with a pharmacogenetics or pharmacogenomics report. Uh, so it also becomes more proactive than reactive looking for um, doing testing in advance of starting the medication rather than trying to explain why a patient isn't responding or is having a side effect. Uh, 